in your life where you say, you know what, I'm not going to be anybody's convenience no more. This goes for relationships, this goes for friendships, this goes for business partnerships, this goes to every aspect in your life. Disrespect cannot be tolerated because when you when you allow an inch of di disrespect, you open the door to consistent disrespect. And I've always told you this since day one, can nobody treat you the way you're being treated without your permission. Understand that. I know it's easier said than done. I know maybe you're going through hard times. I know you're going through tragedy. I know you may be dealing with a lot of things and you're vulnerable. But listen, at the end of the day, you have to stop accepting disrespect. People have to know that if somebody walks out of your life, they're not going to find you in the same place that they left you. Some of us, we allow people to walk out our life. We allow people to do us any type of way. And we sit there and we wait. While they moved on with their life, we sit here and we wait for them to show back up. We sit here and we wait for them to give us forgiveness. We sit here and we wait for them to give us apologies. We sit here and we wait for closure. Let me tell you something about closure, man. The only closure that you need is realizing that you deserve better. The only closure that you need is understanding that your life holds better for your life. That your future, excuse me, holds better for your life. Some of us, we're sitting here waiting. And some people know that. They know exactly what they can give you and they know exactly what you're going to accept over and over and over again. And that's why they keep giving it to you. Nobody can give you disrespect without your permission. Nobody can keep treating you the same exact way without your permission. Nobody can keep giving you apologies without change behavior without your permission. You got to put your foot down. You got to let people know what you ain't going to accept. People can call you cold hearted. Like I told you a million times, I'd rather be viewed as cold hearted than live broken hearted. But you got to get to that point in your life where people have to know that if they walk out of your life, you ain't waiting for them. They got to know if you if they keep doing you wrong, you ain't going to give them another chance. Sometimes people have to know that I'm all about forgiveness as I'm yelling. I'm all about forgiveness. I'm all about giving another chance. I understand people make mistakes, <clears throat> but it has to come to a point when another chance doesn't exist. When you're given multiple chances, it has to come to a point when that person knows that this next time is the last time for real. That person knows they walk out of your life, then you ain't going to stay in the same place. Some of us, we have spent our whole entire life waiting for closure for the last decade, waiting for somebody to give us some understanding for the last two years. And they have moved on. That company has moved on. That job has moved on. That person has moved on. That friend has moved on. And you're still in the same place. And the only person that's suffering is you. Is you. There should be no room in your life for disrespect. There should be no room in your life. Your life, your heart is not a revolving door. People shouldn't just be able to come into your life and leave your life whenever they want to. You tell people, listen to me, listen to these words, and I want you to hear it in your soul. You tell people how to treat you by what you accept. You know why people don't give me disrespect? Because they know I ain't going to tolerate it. They can try, but they ain't going to be giving me disrespect for long because they know what I'm not going to tolerate. You know why people... Don't don't try to lower my standards because you know why they know I'm not going to accept it. When you set the president of your life that you're not going to lower your standards, when you set the president of your life that you're not going to be used, that you're not going to be taken advantage of, people ain't going to give you that. But some of us, we've allowed to be a freaking format and we wonder why people continue to walk all over us. But Trent, you don't understand. I've been with this situation for 30 years. Trent, you don't understand. Like, I have, listen, you need to learn how to love yourself. You need to learn how to love yourself and you need to get to a point, as my brother said, Jay, right? We all are enough, but you have to get to a point when you have had enough. And some of us, we haven't had enough. Some of us were so afraid to move on with our life because we have a tied, tied our identity to around that thing. Listen, disrespect cannot be tolerated in your life anymore. Facts. People have to know that what you're not going to accept, what you're not going to tolerate, what you're not going to put up with. Some people ain't taking you serious because you ain't taking you serious. Some people just giving you the bare minimum because they know that's what you're going to accept. You got to know your worth, baby, and then charge tax. And I'm not telling you to be bougie. I'm not telling you to be stuck up. But I'm telling you to stop allowing things in your life that they wouldn't allow. Those same people that's treating you a certain type of way, they would have been bounced if you treated them that way. Those same people that's giving you less, if you would have gave them less, they would have been bounced. But some of us, we stay stuck because we're waiting on closure. Forget closure. The only closure that you need is to close this chapter by moving forward with your life. And sometimes that's with the people. Sometimes it's without the people. But you have to get to a point where you care enough about your life that you're not going to keep it in a place where you're unappreciated. 
that you're not going to keep in a place where you're not valued. Because when you settle for less, when you settle for less, when you start to settle for less, that's when suffering takes place. Every time you settle for less, you lose a piece of your soul. Every single time you settle for less, you lose a piece of your soul as a rat ran by me. All right. Every time you settle for less, you lose a piece of your soul. Stop allowing people to give you what you know you don't deserve. Stop allowing people to treat you in a way that you know you shouldn't be treated. Stop seeing your worth through the eyes of somebody that can't see your worth. Stop seeing your value through somebody who doesn't see that you're valuable. And start realizing that God created you as a whole, as an awesome, as an incredible human being. But the problem is we start to believe what humans say about our life. We start to believe what humans try to put on our life, the labels they put on our life. And we stop being the greatness that we were created to be. Okay? Stop accepting freaking disrespect. Right? There should be no negotiation for it. There should be boundaries in your life that don't budge for anybody. There should be firm boundaries in your life that you have non-negotiables, right? Selling for less is a non-negotiable. Uh, not, not accepting disrespect is a non-negotiable. Knowing your worth, living your standards <laughs> are non-negotiables. But again, it's your life. I'm just a messenger. But don't sit here and complain about the things that you're not willing to change. Stop expecting some miracle to happen when you're keeping the same mess in your life. Miracles don't happen when you keep the same mess in your life. You got to do your part. Faith without works is dead. You cannot heal your heart by standing in the pain that's destroying your life. Period. Some of us, we don't feel like we're enough because we're around. Our environment makes us feel that way. You're around a person or people or a job that's telling you that you suck, that you're incapable, that, that you're not worthy. Of course you're going to feel like that. You got to turn the page in your life and stop accepting less. All right? But it's your life. It's on you. But I know... I know, I know, I know, I know. There's more to your life than what you're choosing. I say choosing because it's a choice. It is a choice. No matter how you flip it, no matter how you try to say it, no matter how you try to portray it, it is a freaking choice, right? You are a human being. You can decide whatever you want to decide. You have free will. You have a choice. I don't care. Don't give me no excuse. You have a choice and you can choose to accept it or you can choose not to accept it. You can choose to honor your standards or you can choose to accept disrespect. That is on you. But like I said in every single video, it all starts with you. Let's get it.